Is it an ear? Yes. But it wasn't like you think. We weren't in love. He always loved you. Then why did he carry on with you, then? You led him on, didn't you? It wasn't like that, honestly. Greg was down and upset over Nicky, and I was finding it hard to cope with the babies. Oh, you had a nanny, for God's sake. You had Katrina. She found out, didn't she? And that's why she went waiting for you. I didn't want to cause any trouble. Then why did you start it? Neither of us started it. It was a... a mutual attraction. I enjoyed Greg's company, and, and he enjoyed mine. It, it just happened. We were together. We were married for 23 years. He never once looked at another woman. So why would he sleep with you? If you didn't, Stasi? Please, let's go downstairs. Just you answer the question. We needed each other. You needed him. You wanted him more like he had me. He had me. He didn't. What are you trying to say? Your time was taken up with Nicky and the family. You didn't have time for him. Do you dare say that? Do you dare say that I love Greg? Well, that's what he told me. Well, he lied to you. He never went near me for months and months. I practically had to force him into bed with me. And now I know why. He got me a nightie like this. Did you get a few? I found it in his drawer in our bedroom. And I wondered why it was there. But you know what I think? I think it was for you. And he realised that I'd found it. So we got you another one because he gave him the first one to me. Am I right? I don't know. Well, it had to be something like that. He didn't do things like that for me. He never bought me stuff like this. But look, now we've both got one. God, why didn't I notice what was going on? I mean, he was always over here doing stupid piddling little jobs and you, you were forever knocking on our door. <laughs> no wonder he get me at arm's length. Why bother with me when he's got some, some classy piece next door? Don't be so hard on yourself. Let's go down and talk it through. And you patronise me, you, you cheeky cow! Please! I'm trying to explain. It was a... It was a combination of circumstances. All the upset over Nicky, uh, me trying to start a new business, look after the children, Greg and me... We were... We were vulnerable to something happening. He needed me to take him away from his family problems, and I needed him to take me away from my own. You're just... You're sounding like some stupid article in a magazine. You're trying to make it sound normal. You took my husband to bed time after time, and you didn't give a damn about me and my family. We used each other. You used him for sex. And for them to pay for you to stay in hotels because I've seen all the credit card stuff. We used each other. That's the truth of it. It shouldn't have happened. I never set out to steal him from you. I never wanted him to leave you. I just... I just enjoyed him. And we went to bed. I didn't love him. He loved you. It's all your fault. Nothing would have happened if you'd have just left him alone! Can't you understand? No one's to blame it. It just happened. And now he's dead. And Jason is dead! You were with him when he was killed, wasn't you? <sighs> yes. What happened? Don't lie. Just looking about. You meant not changing rooms. You'd have sex with him, didn't you? Was it your idea? I don't know. It just happened. You killed him. No. Don't be ridiculous. Whoever let that bomb off killed him. No, you killed him. You've got to get this into perspective. Don't you dare speak to me like that. 
If he hadn't been carrying on with you, he wouldn't have been in those changing rooms. He wouldn't have even been invited to your big opening night party. We didn't know a bomb was going to go off. But it did! And my only son was killed! You can't blame me for that. If he hadn't been with you in that club, my son wouldn't have had to go in to rescue his father. <sighs> it's all down to you, isn't it? I have lost my son because you were carrying on with my husband. How do you feel about that? I didn't let off a bomb. Why don't you care? Your own kids are killed in a car crash. You should know what it's like to lose a child. But you just don't care. Don't you bring my children into this. Get out of here. Dizzy little cow. Help, you help. Mom? Can we even let him stand this up? I talk about him after he dies. I don't let me talk about my Jason. When you and your was your father and his dad. And now you just saw the nun. I know I'm sorry. Mom, stop it! I want to get tell me everything. Out of your mind. Look. Get out now. She, now. She's not getting away with this. Look. Both of you get out before I call the police. You understand? Come on, Mom. Come on. If it wasn't Mom. for her, my son would still be with me. Come on, Mom. Come on, Mom. I can't believe what you've just done. It's all her fault. Everything. Please, Mom. Just leave it. Bedroom. She let herself in. I, I thought she was going to kill me. I, I tried to escape, but she she brought me back in and I hit her. But she was too strong. I, oh, I couldn't God, fight her. Phones. I couldn't breathe. Look, it's all right. Don't I try to talk. Her. Come on, come and lie down, right? <laughs>